Modern Warfare 2 cheats are already here, day one of the open beta. This video is not going to be an I told you so, but I will explain how within hours of the open beta going live, they become functional and available for sale to the open public, and why this is very, very bad for the entire COD community, especially those of you that pre-ordered the game already. You guys thought Warzone cheaters were bad? If the chatter on the cheat provider dev forums is any indication, we're in for a very, very long ride with this next COD title that we're stuck with for two whole years. Allow me to explain on a video that begins right now. What's up, what's good YouTube? Hope all is well and welcome back to the channel guys. I'm hopping on today's video. We got cheats. We don't have cheats, but there are cheats for Modern Warfare 2. Yes, the same Modern Warfare 2 that just had its open beta. Now, while I'm sure most of you aren't surprised, many of you might actually be interested in how easily it was for the cheat providers to basically port over the cheats that they had for MW 2019 to the current Modern Warfare 2 game once they had access to a PC build of the game. Even using the same exact exploits that allowed them to hooker inject the cheat as they did in 2019 version of Modern Warfare. Bypassing the ricochet anti-cheat? Not a problem. They're using the same methods as before this game released. You mean the cheat providers didn't even have to step their game up just a little bit? How convenient! It's almost like Activision and its studios gave the exact same, if not just a little bit less fox, as they did for keeping cheaters out of their last four titles. How do I know they're the exact same cheats? How do I know they didn't have to do anything super extraordinary and these are basically the same exact cheats using the same exact code because I seen these new MW2 cheats and every single thing about them, even down to the loader UI is exactly the same. Take Apple cheats, for example, who pride themselves on being feature rich as they're known as the copy and pasters and they're using bits and pieces of code, making for one of the most feature rich, albeit most detected products on the market. But many other providers have followed suit and are now offering fully functional Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 cheats. Which didn't they say Ricochet was supposed to be running on? I don't know, I'm just trying to put myself in the shoes of the dev and make up some bullshit excuse that makes sense to myself. But it's not hard to see why every other provider that's ever sold an MW 2019 cheat is following suit and releasing their own versions of the Modern Warfare 2 cheats. In fact, I've seen no less than 20 different providers with functional Modern Warfare 2 cheats confirmed for sale to the general public. Now, a lot of smaller developers that have a lot of hype and promise behind them are absolutely destroyed by cheaters on day one during usually their betas. But it's very rare to see a AAA publisher such as one that makes Call of Duty have cheats available hours after they release the game. I don't know what it speaks more to. Does it speak more to the studio's inability to do their job and protect their intellectual properties? Or does it say more about their will to? Do they actually give a fuck? Do they actually even give a fuck? I at least thought we'd see a period of time, you know, we could actually see what the COD landscape looked like devoid of any kind of cheats. With the exception, you know, of Cronus and Strike Pack, which are, you know, this far away from being normalized. And you know what? To be honest, we got exactly that for a few minutes. Blink and you missed it because the providers came to the market with their cheats with the quickness. And from what I've been told, by some of the insider contacts, devs that I know that provide various cheats, it actually took less than two hours of having access to the PC build for the vast majority of these providers to crack open the game, port their cheats, and offer them for sale and continue this absolute destruction of the FPS battle royale genre. And the bad news isn't that the cheats are in the beta. The bad news is that Ricochet, which is supposedly live right now, has proven itself to be one of the most absolutely inefficient anti-cheats used in the history of gaming. Because for any notable, credible provider, they must have three things before they are offering their cheats to the public. If they don't have these three things, they're not gonna offer them to the public. And it's not as easy as you guys think. I mean, honestly, they're, you know, a lot less, far less credible known 
providers out there and I've actually seen postings for MW2 cheats for months now but anyone with the brain would tell you that these are scams but a reputable provider is gonna have a a cheat that is fully functional B they're gonna make sure the loader for that cheat is compatible with a wide range of machines and three for it to be uncompromised undetected meaning that they found a method that they're comfortable with that allows them to bypass the ricochet anti-cheat which I'm sure involved the same exact methods and tools as before because you know go figure these studios do the minimum amount of work when it comes to protecting the game from cheaters so if you ask me we're just restarting the cycle of repetitive madness that comes with being a fan of the COD franchise but we've had this problem now for literally years and I'm not talking about the problem with cheaters. I'm talking about the problem with people not understanding how to get what they want from this company. It's complicated, so pay attention. When they make a lot of money, they think everything that they're doing is right. The way they make money is we give it to them. If we stop giving it to them, their investors are gonna look at them and say, what the fuck happened? Change will have to happen. And if you need me to dive a little bit deeper, Stop spending fucking money on COD points and worthless bullshit when you're not happy with the state of the game. Stop listening to the dumbasses that make money from this game, that their entire income is dependent on a game like COD success. Hashtag use my COD creator content code. Yeah, I'm sure then people will tell you their honest opinion about the state of the game. <laughs> Bottom line, Activision exists because we allow it to. And in turn, we allow it to mistreat us, miscommunicate to us, misinform us, all in an attempt to further separate us from our hard-earned dollars by way of their lazily, effortlessly pieced together, reskin, piece of shit, bullshit they call a game. Can we get Doc back in their design and levels? Can we, can we go back to the Pick 10 system? Can we go back to the last decent COD installment, Black Ops 2, and say, what can we do to improve upon this game? and then start from there. Sadly, I'm sure their analytics show them that not being the most profitable way for them to proceed with the future of Call of Duty. Assuming that there is a future after MW2 releases, it's a piece of shit. I mean, after all, we're just the customer. What could we possibly know about what we want out of our entertainment. And just as Hillary Hinton, otherwise known as Zig Ziglar, bona fide sales extraordinaire and American author would say, the first step in getting what you want is to have the courage to get rid of what you don't. Catch you guys on the next one.